about some of the provisions in it. Mr. Uh, Dr. Cam Calder. It's a pleasure to rise, Mr. Speaker, and take a short call on the first reading of the local electoral amendment bill number two. And I'm delighted that so far support seems to be unanimous in the House. The bill combines the changes of the local electoral amendment bill, which was tabled in 2011, with further changes to electoral donation laws, reflecting public concern about transparency and accountability of candidate donations, particularly anonymous donations. The purpose of this bill is threefold. It will improve provisions for the conduct of local elections. It will increase transparency and accountability in relation to candidate donations, particularly anonymous donations, in response to the aforementioned concern. And it is interesting to note at this point that Labor passed the current loose provisions around the anonymous donations. The national government is rectifying this matter. This bill will strengthen the integrity of the local electorate system. It is our belief that improved transparency will help build public trust in this local electoral system. These local electoral reforms are part of National's drive for better local government, which also focuses on councils operating more efficiently and helping them to be more fiscally responsible. As well as limiting the size of an anonymous donation, a candidate can retain to $1,500 and other provisions around donations, the bill also increases flexibility for city and district councils to set ward boundaries to better reflect communities and prominent geographical features. As part of our drive for better transparency, candidates for local election will also be required to provide information about whether they live in the area and if they are seeking election to more than one position. These changes reflect recommendations from the j &E Committee inquiry to the 2010 local elections and also recommendations from the Local Government Commission's review of the Local Electoral Act. Mr Speaker, I commit, commend this bill to the House. Mr Speaker. I call Dennis O'Rourke. Thank you, Mr.